Hi, this is Shay Veronica. Now, do you think that you can tell anyone who eats from the place where shit accumulates in a pig and swine? Do you think you could tell anyone that eats from the sore system of a pig not to eat a particular something? Do you think that you can tell a particular set of people who had to eat a certain way when they were enslaved. It was part of the food that they had to eat when they were eating like pigs and, you know, they didn't have uh, forks and spoons and plates. They had to put their mouth in the troughs and they had to eat like a pig. Do you think that you could tell someone after experiencing that, after having that as part of their DNA history, it's real history, and they in the 21st century could still line up and buy. They line up and they buy pudding and sauce. The sauce comes from the shit place of the swine, of the pig. Okay, it's like eating in a sore system. Oh, you clean it up. Oh, you brush it up really good. They're still eating the way their ancestors ate from slavery and they love it. You think that you can tell them what to eat and what not to eat? Now, this irritates me for some reason. You really need to keep out of the newspaper with this bullshit, okay? You're, you, I don't know what you're trying to do, but it is not a pleasant thing. You cannot tell a Bajan what to eat and what not to eat. It's not within their DNA to have that sort of focus. It's just, it's just not. It's just not. They are still eating from the intestines of a pig, of the swine. They still eat from that. They don't need to, but they still do. And they love it. Culture. It's part of our culture. It's something that we do every Sunday or Saturday. Is it Saturday? Yeah. Every Saturday we go and get our pudding and sauce. You cannot tell them not to eat Raymond noodles. You cannot tell them that. They love it. They love it. Sometimes you get a barrel or sometimes a barrel is sent from America and half of that barrel is Raymond noodles. Half because you get four packs for a dollar here, four packs for one dollar, 25 cents each. You think you could have a full meal for 25 cents, and something in your mind does not tell you this can't be good, this can't be food, there gotta be plastic, it gotta be, it gotta be rock stones that they turn into something that they make us eat it, it gotta be something that they prepared in a lab just for poor people. You think that your mind. Your mind escape. You have a mind. You have something in your head that should make you think. And if something costs 25 cents, and sometimes when it's on sale, you get 10 for a dollar, 10 for a dollar, 10 cents. 10 cents. You think if you can reconstitute that particular meal in a bowl and you have a full plate of food, your mind does not tell you that you're not eating food. That it's not something that you should be eating. That you should not be consuming that. You cannot tell a Bajan to come back. And why are you in the news talking about diabetes and NCDs? Why? Why do it to irritate me? It says, oh, this is to irritate me, right? Because it makes no sense. It actually makes no sense. You cannot, you cannot tell a Bajan what to eat. You cannot tell a Bajan not to drink sweet drinks. You cannot tell a Bajan not to drink rum. You just cannot tell a Bajan not what to do. You cannot tell a Bajan not to put wine, red wine in the refrigerator. You cannot tell a Bajan not to put red wine in the refrigerator. Bajans do as they like with whatever they want to do. You cannot tell them to come back. It's part of their DNA. It's part of your DNA un until and until you recognize it. You have to, you actually have to see it within yourself. You're not going to be any better. You're not going to be any better. You have to see what you are. You have to see yourself for what you are and you have to want to be better. You have to actually want to overcome something that was pounded in you, pounded in your DNA, pounded in you. You have to want 
to overcome certain things that you see about yourself. But as it stands right now, you can't tell a vision to come back. It's Sheriff Veronica.